Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be discussing about uh, user acceptance testing uh, test case template in this video. I will be also discussing uh, how to write the test cases uh, for user acceptance testing. Now let us understand how the template would look like. If you can see right, the template uh, something like this it look like. So we will have a first column, we will have a project name and the second one is module name or you can have sub module names as well if it is a product is our application is very big you can have sub module name as well then the next column is when the testing would start with the date and time and when the testing will end with the time that is the next column then also we have a testing type or this template i am using for user acceptance testing you can also use this template for any other kind of testing like system uh, testing or regression testing or so on and uh, what is the priority of a given test case whether it is a priority 1 case or priority 2 case or priority 3 case this priority column would be helpful when you have less time for execution we can only select the high priority cases and we can execute uh, next column would be the test case number or a test case id next column is test description basically what this test cases is intended to do we have to mention here and also we have a steps action like number of detailed steps we wanted to mention in order to execute the test and also we should have a test data column as well like what is the data we will be using in order to executing a particular test case the next column would be expected results basically what is the expected out of this test case and actual result is what actually we are trying to see after we are executing this test case in a given application then we have additional column at test status which is not run blocked or failed or passed you can mention everything in the test status in case user acceptance testing is failed we can define that uh, bug or defect idea and if you wanted to call out any additional comments or defect details we can mention in the last column now we will try to understand how can we write a test case for creating a user in any e-commerce application or any application in that matter now we will have a test cases how will you write the test cases the project name is ecom web model name is create user this is the start and end date type of test case is a uit priority has been defined and test case id also is given the test case description here application should not accept uh, the password less than eight character the password should take at least eight character with at least one upper case and one lower case and a number in it that is the expectation from a the requirement perspective now in the test case steps we will have to call that out the prerequisite in order to execute this test cases then we would be required prerequisite as well let's say web application should be up and running url should be working that is the prerequisite here when we open up the application whenever we click on the registered user link then we get a page where i should be able to enter email id and a password now i entered a valid email id that is uh, the test at sample.com now password i am entering only number here password should be able to take number as well as characters both upper and lower case that is the expectation here I, in this case i am executing only numbers here now you should display error message here saying that we are not followed the standard guidelines for the password and actual results also we can place here if you have snapshot you can add the snapshot for the given test case the second case here more of uh, earlier i entered only numbers here here i am entering only characters i am entering only characters even that time also you should throw error message saying that we are not followed the password condition and the third case is i am entering the password as only special character if you can see right i entered only special characters email id is valid still i should get a error message that is the third test case and the fourth test case here i entered the 
only seven character password if you can see right i have entered only seven character password even that time also the test case should fail and you should throw error message in the next condition where i have entered the right uh, password with the right email id with the right combination then i should be able to log in to the application and the application should move on to the from login page to the home page that is the expected result here and the next case would be we are going to validate in terms of the email id which we are entering earlier if you can see right earlier we enter test at sample.com now the at symbol we have removed it that is the expectation here if i am going to remove the email ids at and i am entering the valid password as well still it should throw error message saying that email id is wrong uh, next case would be test at sample i have not given dot dot com then even that situation also you should throw an error message that is the expected result here and uh, next case is i have entered uh, while registering the user i have created the user with uh, test at sample.com so next case would be where i try to enter the same email id which is already created the account earlier the test at sample.com is already created if i try to enter the same email id to create the user then it should throw an error message saying that it should not create it should say this user or this email id is already existed and the next test cases would be where i will be entering the password twice because once is uh, the password the second one is confirm password while creating a user if i am uh, entering both password and confirm password with the right email id then it should succeed if i am entering in the next case if the user enters password and confirm password totally different then it should throw a password is not matching this is how you should write the test cases for user acceptance testing and this template is also very useful you can use this template in order to write the test cases for user acceptance testing i am hoping this video was very useful for you guys if you guys really like this video then please give a thumbs up to this video thanks for watching this video bye for now take care